In the UK, we have so much and take so much for granted. We have all these things because people here have jobs and they also pay taxes. But in poor countries, there simply isn't enough money to go round to pay for teachers or civil servants or to build hospitals and roads and sewers. But things are changing. Schools are being built and staffed properly. Local clinics are extending the lives of children and their families. Cart tracks are becoming roads. Britain, through its Department for International Development, DFID, aids these poorer countries. We help governments so that they may help people to help themselves and so enable their countries to be less dependent upon handouts from the West. Other wealthy countries in the European Union, Japan, the United States also work with us. And of course DFID works with and funds many other aid agencies and charities and of course the United Nations itself. Nowadays the UK will only help if governments agree to make long-term and lasting improvements to vital services like education or healthcare. And they must also encourage the private sector to generate jobs and money. These governments are held to account too and must provide regular reports on progress. But there are poor countries that are unable to make these changes and here the United Kingdom tries to give aid directly to the people and we do this by giving money to aid agencies and charities that are already working in those countries. But here in Tanzania, with Britain's help, one and a half million more children now attend primary school and at no cost whatever to their families. In Bangladesh, child mortality has been drastically reduced both through improvements in living conditions and the widespread use of inoculation at localised clinics. Mozambique is one of the poorest countries in the world, but drastic reforms have made an encouraging improvement in poverty levels. So aid does work, but there are still many people who believe that much of the aid money ends up in the pockets of corrupt politicians and officials. So there are three things that enormously help with the administration of the aid money. Firstly, the fact that we now give money directly to governments in exchange not only for assurances, but for regular reports of expenditure, progress and results. Secondly, making local people totally aware of what they're supposed to be getting and giving them a mechanism for complaint if they don't get it. And lastly, encouraging tough and uncompromising action against anyone caught siphoning off funds for their own use. Of course, some may ask, why give any aid at all to a country that is manifestly corrupt? But why should a child be denied education or a mother healthcare, just because some people in their government are corrupt. This government believes that we cannot and should not walk away from our responsibilities. The goal is to halve world poverty by 2015. It's a tough call, but we're beginning to make a difference. It's estimated that every year, the British government, through DFID, helps to pull two million people out of poverty. There is no doubt, aid works.